Having the ability to think deeply is a wonderful thing for us humans. But sometimes, this ability can start causing trouble. When our deep thinking turns into a never-ending cycle of overthinking, it can become a real problem. Today, we'll take a closer look at what overthinking is and how it can mess with our minds. We'll also talk about some ways to deal with it and stop it from taking over our thoughts. Let's break it down. What is overthinking? It's when you think about something so much or for so long that it becomes a problem. Regular thinking becomes overthinking when you can't stop worrying and think so much that you can't make a decision or take action. And that's not good for us. Overthinking is not just thinking a lot. It's thinking in a way that's not helpful, obsessively, and in a way that can be harmful. It's a problem many of us face today, and it messes with our natural ability to think, reflect, and understand. While thinking is a normal human thing, overthinking means letting our thoughts overwhelm us. Why should we be concerned about overthinking? A lot of people don't realize that it's a problem, but it really is. Overthinking can make us indecisive and stop us from taking action. When we think too much about something, we can get so overwhelmed by all the possibilities that it's hard to make a decision. This can really stop you from making decisions. When you keep thinking about something, it can cause a lot of stress and worry. Focusing on what could go wrong or thinking about bad outcomes can lead to mental and emotional problems. If you're always overthinking conversations with friends, family, or coworkers, it can hurt your relationships. For instance, you might misunderstand something someone said and then keep worrying about it, causing unnecessary stress or arguments. Always overthinking can take away the fun and natural moments in life. It can make it hard for you to be in the moment and fully involved. Basically, overthinking takes up a lot of time without giving us any real benefits. That time could be better used doing something productive or relaxing. So how can we stop overthinking as soon as possible? You can't control everything. If you overthink and want to stop, the first thing to remember is that you can't control everything. You can't control how other people feel, what happens around you, or what happened in the past or might happen in the future. Realizing that you can't control everything should be your main focus, and you should remind yourself of this every day. We often try to control everything, which can make us feel stressed. If you stop and remind yourself that you can't control everything, it can help you feel more relaxed and at peace. Understand and accept. To overcome overthinking, you need to understand it first. Overthinking isn't just thinking a lot, it's focusing too much on the wrong things. It's a cycle that grows from our fears, doubts, and insecurities. You need to realize and accept that you're doing it. Acknowledging that we have a problem is a big step towards fixing it. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, making things clear and helping you see more clearly. So ask yourself, do you find yourself lying awake at night, thinking about every word from a conversation? Do you spend a lot of time thinking about simple choices, making them seem like big problems? If you see and accept this in yourself, you've already taken a brave first step by recognizing the need to change. Understanding and accepting that you overthink isn't about blaming yourself. It's about realizing that it's a common human thing that we can learn about and control. By admitting that you overthink, you give yourself a chance to work on it. Try writing down your thoughts in a journal. Note what's bothering you and you might see some patterns. Recognize these patterns, accept them, and get ready to tackle them. Your mind is not a trash can. If you always let other people's opinions fill your mind, it can get cluttered like an overflowing trash can. Don't take in every opinion you hear and dwell on it constantly. If you overload your mind with too much, you'll feel mentally exhausted, and that can make your body feel tired all day. It's that straightforward. Putting too many thoughts or opinions in your mind can even disrupt your sleep. You might keep thinking about them all night and end up not sleeping well. So how can you avoid this? When you feel swamped by other people's opinions, ask yourself, does this really help me? If it doesn't, try to ignore it and think about something else. Since we only have one life, we shouldn't let other people's unhelpful opinions control us. Question your thoughts. Imagine this, you've been asked to lead a new project at work. As the deadline gets closer, you start thinking, I'm not good enough for this, I'll mess up, and everyone will see I can't be relied on. This kind of thought is strong and can quickly turn into overthinking, making you feel stressed and anxious. But let's question that thought. 
Ask yourself, is this thought really true? What makes me think this way? Have I failed before or is this fear just based on my own worries and doubts? You were probably picked for this job because of your skills and past successes. Don't forget about the things you've done well before. Put that negative thought to the test. Question it and look for proof. You'll often find that the fear of failing isn't based on what's real, but on unnecessary worry. Your mind might be making things seem worse than they really are, turning a small challenge into a huge problem. Push away this negative thought and replace it with a positive one. I am strong. I can do this. I am in control. I've done well before, and I can do it again. Hold on to this belief and let it help you through the project. Establish limits for thinking and taking action. Think about how a skilled chess player makes decisions. They know that planning and thinking ahead are important, but there's also a time when they need to make a move. They set aside time to think. Look at the board. Predict their opponent's moves and then make their move. They don't waste time being unsure. They keep going, understanding that making decisions at the right time is key to the game. Just like in a chess game, in your life, it's important to know when to think and when to take action. Set aside some time to think about your decisions, like picking a career, making a big purchase, or figuring out how to tackle a personal challenge. Take the time to think things through, look at your options, consider the good and bad points, and listen to your gut feelings and values. When your thinking time is over, go ahead and act on the best decision you've come up with. Stick to it, commit to it, and follow through. Keep in mind that decisions can be changed. Life is always changing, and we make new choices all the time. Even if you later think you could have chosen differently, it's what you learn from making that choice that helps you grow and learn in life. There's a lot of benefit in moving forward, making mistakes and learning from them, rather than getting stuck in constant overthinking. Stay present. The only time we really have is now. It's when life happens, when we feel happy and when we connect with others. But how often do we really focus on the present moment without getting distracted by our thoughts? Mindfulness means being completely in the moment without judging it. It's not about ignoring the world or avoiding our duties. It's about fully enjoying what's happening right now. Like feeling the breeze on your skin, savoring your morning coffee, or hearing someone you care about laugh. Think about something simple like having a meal. Usually we eat while our minds are busy with other things like planning for a meeting or thinking about a past conversation. But what if we focused on really enjoying the food, taking the time to taste its texture and flavor? This kind of mindfulness turns an everyday activity into a special moment of joy and connection. Mindfulness can be easy, like paying attention to your breathing, feeling its steady rhythm and valuing the life it signifies. You don't need to meditate for hours or make big lifestyle changes. It just means choosing to be fully present in what you're doing. So my friends, I hope you can stop overthinking by trying out what I've talked about. I hope this video brings some clarity to your life. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment and share this video. See you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.